Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna to be talking about this $450 gaming PC you can build right now. It can be hard right now to get your hands on PC parts, but this build comes with stuff that's kind of easier to find on the new and used market. So as Matt mentioned, the concept for this video is you can still actually get all of these parts brand new if you would like to, which can sometimes be a lot easier and quicker and even sometimes the same price. But a lot of the parts that we picked here have been out for, I would say one to three years. So because of that, you can get pretty much all the stuff used on eBay, you know, next door. I mean, you can basically check any type of app that you could think of and you could probably find this type of stuff used used in your general area. Now, of course, you know here at the Toasty Bros, we really like buying used hardware. You can get a lot of value doing it that way. Our favorite card is the RX 580 used, still one of the best value cards you can get right now. But again, as Jackson mentioned, you could buy this stuff new. And for stuff like storage and power supply and case, that's obviously something you probably would want to buy new. But you can save a lot of money with the graphics card, CPU, maybe even the motherboard if you can't find one in stock. Um, and it could be a really awesome value option. So how about go ahead and talk about each individual part and then we're going to part this thing together. So so what we have here to mess with Matt's focus, ooh. No. This is the original Ryzen 1600. This is the non-AF. Now, you still can get the 1600 new from time to time. It's not really the best deal typically, but we usually can get them for under $100 uh, in the package and everything used, new, whatever, with the cooler. So 1600 is still a six core 12 thread, and honestly, even though it's first gen, it is still really good, and it's gonna pair really nicely with the other hardware we have picked out. Now for the motherboard, I know a lot of you are thinking, oh, A320. Well, the A320, honestly, it supports up to third gen, and on top of that it can go up to Ryzen 7 typically. So, you know, Ryzen 5, and this is first gen, it's a perfect pair, and you can get these for around $54 brand new. We actually just bought one the other day as well off Amazon for $54. So, these do come in and out of stock very often. And like Matt said, on eBay, A320s are like stupid cheap. You can usually get them for like $30 to $40. So, you know, it's not the greatest of boards, but it does allow for expandability. It allows for upgrades. So, it's honestly more than we need for this build. Now, for RAM, guys, we decided to go a little bit cheaper. This is Patriot, and it's an AK kit. A 2666. Now, it is relatively slow, but we at least hit the bat with dual channel, so that's really important for Ryzen. Now, eight gigs, I know you're thinking, that's really not enough for nowadays, and we're gonna go ahead and say, this is really not enough, but to get started in the PC gaming world um, and keeping this build really cheap, this will work because this stuff's $37.99 brand new. Now, if you wanna go ahead and just get 16, it's literally $60, which is another 20 bucks. Do we recommend it? Highly, but do we wanna keep it under 450? Yes, so we got eight gigs, highly recommend upgrading. Now the GPU we have right here is the 1063 gig. Now there are a couple options you can go with on the used market. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, the RX 584 gig, uh, there's a bunch of different ones that you can go with and something like the 1063 gig, they come in at around $100 most of the time. Sometimes you can snipe them even cheaper if you wanted to, but this is a great card for 1080p high settings on pretty much any eSport game out there. And it does play other games like Call of Duty Warzone and stuff like that. I don't like medium-ish settings, but you'll see more of that in the benchmarks. So very excited to see how this combo works because well, it's Still a decent value on the used market. Speaking of something that Warzone may not like, this is a 240 gigabyte SSD from ADATA. Now, yes, you could opt for a 500 gigabyte, but again, this is the thing we're having to compromise here. The same thing with the RAM going with eight gigs. We had to go with 240 to make it at the $450 budget. Of course, as things start coming back in stock throughout the year or next year, if you're watching this video in the future, you could always opt for a 500 gigabyte and make this an even better build, but this is kind of like the basis build. This is like the stock configuration of this build. If you do want to upgrade it, we'll leave some options down below. Use those links there are affiliate links, but 200 gigabytes is enough for Windows and to install a couple of games. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Apivia Astro Power Power Supply. Oof. Now, this is not the greatest power supply in the world. Let's put that out there. But power supply availability is severely limited right now. If you could get your hands on one, you're probably paying a massive premium. So we decided to give this a PVA power supply a shot because it is in stock. And from the reviews that we've seen, it should be good enough for a budget build like this. Now this case is a case I'm actually really excited to start using. This is the Dark Flash DLM21 or 21, same thing. This is a micro ATX case that has like a mesh front right here, which is very similar to like the Meshify series from Fractal Design. And it comes in at a really awesome price point. Now this thing is going to be really easy if you want to add RGB fans, which we did pick up over here. This is a pack of up here RGB fans, which will add a nice set of bling fans to this case. Now, obviously if you want to invest in bigger storage or 16 gigs of RAM, you could just forget the RGB fans for now and invest it into that, that could be an option for you. But we like to add a little bit of bling to our builds. So we got this up here RGB fan pack and it's gonna look really nice in this mesh case, which I'm very excited to build in. So how about we not waste any more time and build it.
Today's video is brought to you by Private Internet Access, a VPN service provider you might also know as PIA. Online privacy is a hot topic nowadays, and PIA makes staying private online simple. We here at the Toaster Bros value our privacy when running our business, when dealing with finances and other business information, especially when we are on a public network. You never know who may be trying to gain access to your information. We also love their built-in kill switch, which also gives us peace of mind. In case something were to go wrong, we can disconnect with a click of a button. PIA is the leading no-log VPN service founded in 2010 with access to over 3,300 VPN servers in 48 countries. You can use private internet access on any operating system from Windows to Mac OS, iOS, Android, and many others. What's more, you can protect up to 10 devices at the same time with just one subscription. They are highly rated by PC Mag as their editor's choice for 2020 and offer a 30-day money-back guarantee to give you even more peace of mind when trying their service. Not only can you hide your IP address with PIA and keep yourself safe online, but they also have some awesome unblocking features. You'll actually be able to finally bypass your restrictions and watch all the content available on streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and many more. If you're interested in getting the only VPN you will ever need, check the link in the description down below and get a 77% discount and two months of PIA for free. Thanks again to Private Internet Access for sponsoring today's video. Let's go ahead and get into this PC build. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that we have this $450 PC all put together, let's talk about some benchmarks real quick. Now, first up, we decide to test Warzone, and on low settings 1080p, we start to see why the 1063 gig and 8 gigs of RAM isn't a great idea right now. Now, when you're loading into the Warzone map, you start getting a lot of stutters, but after everything settles out, you don't have a problem running this game at over 60 FPS running around the map. I was easily able to get some kills on my first drop in Warzone solos, and I think it's more than playable, but if you were to build this system and you can spare a little bit of money or are willing to sacrifice in things like the RGB fans, you could go with 16 gigs of RAM and maybe an RX 580 4 gig or even 8 gig model for a little bit more and get well better results in games like this that are more VRAM and RAM dependent. This is what we knew going into building this PC, but as I mentioned, this build is kind of a build filled with compromises because of everything going on in the world right now. Availability of PC hardware is severely limited, so we're stuck with what's on the used market, and right now there's not a lot of good metas out there other than picking up a Dell Optiplex, which we do have a video coming very soon to the channel, be sure to subscribe if you want to check that video out, and upgrading it, or going with an option like this and getting a 1060 RX 580 with a U1600 or maybe a 1600 AF if they're available in your country, this is really the only option you can go with right now for such a cheap budget. But speaking of a game that this PC has no problems running, Fortnite on Pro settings 1080p, we are getting well over 100 FPS most of the time. Just dropping into a Team Rumble mode, absolutely no problem getting really decent results. Fortnite is an easy game to run, guys. Everyone knows this. Uh, so if you're someone who plays Fortnite, CSGO, Valorant, any of those esports focused titles, this computer would be perfectly fine for you and you really don't need to worry about going for something like an RX 580 or even 16 gigs of RAM right now. 8 gigs of RAM is still fine for these types of games, but if you are going to play games like Warzone, as I I mentioned you probably want to opt for the 16 gigs of RAM because 16 gigs for newer AAA titles is becoming the standard. And lastly, we tested one more of those esports titles, Rainbow Six Siege. On high settings with the built-in benchmark, we had no problems getting really good results. Again, this is one of those games, as I mentioned, that would have no problems running on this PC. And if you did want to upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM, it would add some extra value to the system. But for what this is, and given the current climate of PC hardware right now, this isn't a bad little build. But hey, what budget build doesn't have room for improvements? And if you want to see some versions that we would recommend if you want to upgrade, be sure to check the link in the description down below for a couple of upgraded versions that are a few bucks cheaper or a few bucks more expensive, just so you have an idea of what you're looking at if you decide to go this route and want a little bit more performance or want to save a little bit more money. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this PC build considering the PC hardware climate. How about we go ahead and bring Jackson back in here to wrap this video up real quick. Okay guys, so for 450 bucks, we've done better in the past, and you're probably thinking, they've done better in the past. Well, right now, this is like the absolute best we've probably done for 450 bucks. $450 in a time like this will normally just get you like an APU type build. So for this having a 1060 with the Ryzen 1600, it's honestly a no brainer at this moment. And as we mentioned, this is a used market mainly focused build with the 1600 and 1060. You could buy the stuff new if you wanted to, but we highly suggest going used because you'd save a ton of money going that route. And also for the 
regular CPU, you could go 1600 AF if you do have one in your region. We just finished our live stream today and saw that there was one in stock for $100, but that could totally change by the time this video is uploaded. So keep that in mind. But overall, I'm very impressed and I really like this case from Dark Flash. The RGB with this mesh up front and coming in with that magnetic side panel, it's actually a really awesome case for the money. And I look forward to using this and maybe a pink one in the near future. So don't forget, if you want to buy any of this stuff, use the links in the description down below. They're affiliate links, so they do help us and keep us up and running. Also, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Like, Wait, that was subscribe. weird. I did that backwards. You really did. What the heck? Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I just felt wrong. We'll just... You, you we guys just, just leave it in there. Just leave it in there. You guys deal with it. it.